guys, how's it going? This is my first day outside doing a little bit of garden work. I am so excited. I'm not gonna do anything super huge or strenuous, but I want to plant a few little flowers and I kinda wanna show you the state of the union out here. So right now it's 49 degrees. It's actually really nice. There's just a tiny little breeze, um, but not bad. And the 10 day forecast looks amazing. So highs in the 50s, like 55, 57, and the lows aren't even really getting close to freezing, so high 30s. So I feel like I could maybe plant a few flowers and get away with it. And I know my mom has been ordering in some really pretty things down at the garden center, some hellebores, um, pansies, things like that. And I haven't even had a chance to go down there and see what they have. So I'm going to attempt to take Benjamin out on my first outing by myself with him. Usually Aaron and I have tag teamed everything up to this point. So I'm thinking of taking him down with me and picking out some flowers and just kind of doing some stuff. So let me turn the camera around and I want to show you what's already going on. I mean this is nuts because this time last year we had 52 inches of snow and it was in the negatives. Like it got down to negative 17 last year. So this is a really huge treat. I'm so thankful that the winter that we have had a baby is a super mild winter and I don't have to worry about him being you know, like, like super cold. Like I'm gonna bundle him up to be out here even in the 50s and high 40s, but it's not in the negatives. There's no way I'd bring baby outside in that kind of weather. So anyway, let me show you some stuff. Okay, so this is the area right by our back kitchen door, which, you know, okay, State of the Union, full disclosure, I still have my garland with Christmas lights, not gonna lie. This is the last little bit of Christmas I need to put away, which I'm gonna do today. So these actually still look really nice. Look at those, aren't those still beautiful? But I'm gonna pull out the greens and berries and maybe put some new plants in these pots. So I'll be putting away the birch logs. <laughs> the only reason why I used those was because I came up short on my garland over here and I needed to hide it. And then I'll be taking the garland down, uh, hopefully like cleaning up the area a little bit, possibly getting a new mat. This one is a time, it doesn't look too bad. Maybe I have a little time left with that. Maybe a new mat, I don't know, and maybe a wreath. I just noticed this this morning. Do you guys see what's going on here? Even better, look at this. Look at, these are all the labella pock tulips. They're coming up super early. And I hope that's not gonna bite me later. I hope our weather doesn't turn. I'm not gonna lie, that makes me super, super excited. And I hope that our spring is really mild and nice. And we can just enjoy these tulips maybe a little bit longer than normal. And I did plant some other stuff, like some other bulbs. And I, I'm like looking around for them. I can't even remember where I put them. How sad is that? Anyway, I'm excited to be surprised by some of the things that actually made it in the ground this last fall. I feel like fall was kind of a little bit of a bust because I physically couldn't do a whole lot of stuff out in the garden because I was in quite a bit of pain. Um, because Benjamin was a transverse breech and he was riding up really high and under my ribs and I couldn't bend over him because his head was <laughs> in my ribs for months. Um, so. I usually do most of my clean out in the fall and I still have a lot of it left to do this spring because I just couldn't do it. Um, so th yeah, that's the second reason why I'm so thankful that it's so nice out. Okay, so I'm gonna run inside and get Benjamin packed up and we'll head down to the garden center. There's my yes. baby. Hey, Benjamin. Oh, look at his oh. lip. Hi, baby. Did you just have a late breakfast? Or I guess it's lunchtime now, huh? Oh my goodness, look at him. Oh, <laughs> oh, hey buddy, you wanna go for a ride? Aaron decided to come with me, which I'm really thankful for. I'm still really nervous to take him out by myself. I don't know if you guys know, but, and I don't think I said this in the last video, but Benjamin is the first baby I have ever been around. I was never raised around babies. I never babysat really. So it's been a total crash course in newborns for me. Aaron's really good with him. Yeah, I think just in the back of the truck is fine. Hi, sweet baby boy. Hi, baby. Oh my word, you guys, look at all of these beautiful plants. We've got a couple of cartloads of pansies here. Really beautiful, I love these. These are called frizzle sizzle raspberry. Look at how sweet those are. So springy. I also really like the light yellow ones. This is a penny citrus mix. Then we have a cart full of bright and beautiful primrose. Look at those. I just love this. This is so early compared to most years. It 
such a treat. And then this is really what I'm after right here. Look at the hellebores. I'm thinking I want to get a bunch of these brighter. Wow, these are gorgeous too though, look at these. So this variety is called Ice and Roses Red. Isn't that stunning? Back here, these are ivory, uh, what are these? No, these are called Camelot right here. And those are beautiful. They've got kind of a pink underside there. Ooh, these are pretty. These are pink frost. These are the kinds I planted a bunch of these by the back kitchen door actually last year. So they should be coming up beautifully this spring. Oh my word. This one is Madame something something. You can see it right there. <laughs> Don't know how to pronounce that name. Okay, so what I think I'm going to do is pick out three hellebores for each of the iron urns by the kitchen door. And I think I'm gonna do all the same. And since the house is white, like I want to go, I want to go toward these ones because they're so beautiful and I really love that kind of chartreuse green, creamy white. But I don't think they'll contrast the house good enough. So I'm thinking of going with this type right here. There aren't, unfortunately, there are not enough of this one right here to make it in those pots. There's only three left of this variety. Yeah, three. So I'd only be able to do one pot with those. Um, so that's a bummer, but that's okay. So I'm thinking that these have enough of the dark, of the dark pink to contrast the house nicely. So I gotta go grab a box. Benjamin is inside right now. My mom is cuddling him up. He's asleep already. My mom's good at doing that. <laughs> I told her we'll stay for a little while while he naps. This is the one I'm going with. It's called Helleborus Gold Collection Shooting Star. One day I would love to have a collection of hellebores in my garden. Just have a whole section dedicated to them. Um, they're so beautiful and when you have winters, normal winters like we normally do, uh, I really appreciate the extra color they bring and that um, evergreen interest that they bring that not only uh, not all perennials give you. Um, so yeah, I'm not sure if you're familiar with hellebores, but they are super hardy like the ones I picked today. They're a zone 5, so hardy down to negative 20. Um, and they bloom winter through early spring. So they bloom before your bulbs even come out. Uh, and then let me take a look at a couple other varieties to see the zone information. Yeah, I'm seeing mostly zone fives on all of these tags, which is pretty hardy. Um, so if you live in a zone lower than that, I'm really sorry. There's probably some varieties that will go down that low, but I'm not seeing any of those varieties here at the moment anyway. And I might pick up a few pansies. I'm not sure if I'm ready for pansies quite yet, but oh, I just noticed these, look at this. So this one is a Vavavoom white. Doesn't it just do your heart good just to see this bright color? It does for me. Um, you know, I could put out primrose and pansies and things like that, and they'll most likely survive and do really well, especially if we keep having winters like this. But sometimes, if we can get our hands on color this early, I don't even care if they survive because I just need color and I just want to plant them, enjoy them for a little while. Um, with the Helleborus, it's a safe bet because they are perennial and they're so, so winter, like cold hardy, that I can plant those and pretty much be guaranteed that they'll do well in the pots. There's oh, Nana yes. <laughs> with baby. Yeah. Oh, he's just so cute. Yeah, he's so cute. I found, uh, I got six, those six right there, you can see them. I see, I even told Erin, uh, I said, oh, she's getting the pretty ones. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All right, we got our goodies. So now we're heading back home. So I've got the hellebores and some mood moss to put around the outside of the pots. The breeze has picked up a little bit. It's a little bit chillier out right now. All right, we made it back home and we got Benjamin inside and fed and all cozy and Aaron's rocking him right now so I can finish my project. Um, so I'm gonna run out to the barn and grab my garden cart um, and my, my kangaroo pop-up bag and I'm gonna clean out those pots and clean up the garland first and then I'll grab the plants out of the car.
So now I'm gonna go see if I can scrounge around in one of my decorating closets to find some sort of a springish looking wreath. And you might have noticed that I did not switch the soil out in these containers. That was the soil that I had in there last year. And the reason why I didn't switch it out is because these hellebores are not gonna be in there for very long. I mean, it's end of January now. I'll probably have them in there for February and March and then I'll plant them out in the landscape somewhere and I'll put some other spring color in here because by the end of March, these will probably be close to bloomed out and I'll want something different in there and I don't really want to go to all the effort right now of putting new soil in because it is a little bit chilly out here. <laughs> and I save those chores for when it's a little warmer. But typically I do like to start with fresh, like all brand new fresh soil at the very beginning of spring, which essentially I will be because it's technically still winter right now. I am just lucky and able to get away with this. So last year it was a totally different story. I was, I mean, we were snowed in. The snow right here, for example, that had come off the, the uh, roof was so high, it was like this high that we couldn't see out the windows. Like it looked like we were snowed in. The walkway right here was, I mean, it was so high. I, it's just incredible the difference. Russell. Hey buddy. He loves that I'm outside right now. He loves to go in and out but he especially loves it when Aaron and I are out here working because he just runs around and climbs trees and I don't know he gets full of energy and he's done pretty good with the transition of bringing baby home. First couple of days he was like uh-uh I don't want to share my home with this little whatever <laughs> this little thing is and it took him a couple days, but he's fine now. I mean, maybe a little bit indifferent because he definitely isn't getting like 100% of our attention like he was before, but he's doing really good. Okay, wreath time. I'm gonna go see if I can find one. makes it look a little bit better. It's kind of funny when you get done having garland and you know all the stuff that I had down here and a wreath for Christmas, when you clean it all off it looks a little bit empty, but it looks clean and great way to start spring. So that's pretty much it for today you guys. I didn't do a whole lot, but it felt really good to be out here just planting something. Something pretty and sprucing up a little area, kind of cleaning it up from Christmas still. I still actually have my Christmas mantle still in full swing inside with the original arrangements and everything. The flowers are all dried up, but you know what, that's what happens. Um, baby Benjamin was born and it kind of like stopped everything for a little while, which was just wonderful that we could do that, that we could stop and, and just enjoy him for a couple of weeks. And we still are, Aaron's inside with him right now and I actually am really looking forward to getting back in there and cuddling him up a little bit. So all I have left to do really is just to go get rid of my garbage and clean up my mess out here. Uh, but I hope you guys enjoyed seeing just some pretty flowers. I know a lot of you guys are right in the throes of a colder, more snowy winter than we have right here. Um, I feel yeah, I know how that is and how like cabin fever you can feel this time of year wanting to get outside and just like start doing stuff. So totally get how you feel. So I hope it just kind of was nice to see something green, something with blooms. So anyway, thank you guys so much for watching this video and we will see you in the next one. Bye.